Welcome again to tutorial number three. Here we will study today inequalities. So first let's brush up our basics. A sample inequality will look like this. 2x minus 9 is greater than equal to 19. So what do we do when we have to find out the range of x? So quite similar to what we did in linear equations, do the same thing on both sides. So here add 9 to both sides, we get 2x plus 19 plus 9. So 2x is greater than or equal to 19 plus 9, which is 28. So x we divided by 2, x equal to 28 by 2. Therefore, x is greater than or equal to 14. So this was the very basic example I could have taken. So yeah, now we are ready with the basics and now we can go ahead. So our rule number one is do same operations on both sides. What is our rule number two? Here it is. Rule number two says, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you must switch the direction of the inequality sign. If you're multiplying or dividing by a positive number, as we did in our last example, the direction of the sign stays same. For example, if we have minus 2x is greater than or equal to 10, and if we need to divide minus 2x by minus 2 to get x, we have to write x is less than or equal to 10 divided by minus 2. So here you must have noticed that we have flipped the inequality just because we are dividing both sides by minus 2. So finally we have our answer as x is less than or equal to minus 5 which would look on a number line as this. If this point is 0 so this point will become minus 5 this is the positive direction of a number line, the negative direction of a number line. So x is any number which is present in this part of our number line. So now let's have a look at some sample problem which you can hope to get in your paper. These types of problem are known as optimization problems. The problem is if a is greater than or equal to minus 7, and less than or equal to 6, this is a compound inequality, it has limits on both its sides. And B is greater than or equal to minus 7 and less than or equal to 8, what is the maximum possible value of the product AB? So what comes to your mind? The greatest greater limit of A is 6 and the greater limit of B is 8. So the greater limit of AB is 16 to 8, 48, right? Well, the answer is no. For this type of problems, we need to go through a particular method. The method is like this. So to solve this kind of problems, we need to write down values in this table. So we need to get the combination of both the lower and greater values of both the equation. So let's fill this table up. The minimum value of A is minus seven. Minimum is minus seven. Maximum is six. And six over here again. So in the same way for B, notice that we have taken minimum, maximum, minimum, maximum, so that we exhaust all the combinations. It is minus seven for B also. Maximum is eight minus 7 and 8. Now we get the multiplication of combinations. Minus 7 into minus 7 is 49. Minus 7 into 8 is minus 56. 6 into minus 7 minus 42 and 6 into 8 48. So here you now see what is the greatest value? 49. 
as contradictory to our first impression guess which was 48 the max max combination so this is the trick sometimes GRE paper setters do so that they trick you into writing this answer of by taking max max combination but don't be tricked now you know what the technique is so from this table for every kind of sum every optimization problem is solved by this process you need to take all the combinations so basically this was it for inequalities tune in to the next tutorial as we get in um, i'm not decided yet what to make the tutorial see you in the next tutorial though bye bye signing out JJ. Bye guys, see you.